An eerie moment captured on gas station surveillance. A mysterious stranger walks straight up to the clerk, but he's not here to make a purchase. He has something to say. Hello? Yes. I'd like to report a murder, please. A murder? Yeah. The victim, 21-year-old expectant mother, Alicia Bromfield. Just hours before, she was toasting the bride and groom at an outdoor wedding. And did you witness it? Yeah. So what happened after the bouquet was tossed and the cake was cut? And just who is the man making such a killer confession? Do you know who murdered her? I did. Alicia Bromfield's mother, Sherry, still has trouble making sense of why her daughter ended up so far from where it all began. Tell us about Alicia. So she was always, always giving and always, you know, ready to help the family, but she loved to have fun. She loved to laugh. She never took life serious. Just one of those people that was just so special that just really made you feel special when you were around her. A loving daughter and friend, and soon to be mom. Alicia was six and a half months pregnant with a little girl. How did you find out Alicia was pregnant? I remember I was studying for a class that I was taking, and she sat on the floor and she said, I have something to tell you. And I could tell she was nervous. And I said, you're pregnant. And she said, yeah, and she started crying. My husband and I told her that we would support her. But there would still be challenges. Alicia was going to be a single mother. The father of her child, someone she met at college, didn't want to be involved. But Alicia was just fine with that, even better than fine. She was so, so excited to be a mother, and she named her baby Ava Lucille. One semester away from graduating with degrees in forensic psychology and criminal justice, Alicia was working at the same job she'd had since she was 16 in the garden department at a major national retail store. She always wanted to be good at her job, so she worked really, really hard to do well. And all that hard work didn't go unnoticed by Alicia's boss, a 36-year-old man named Brian Cooper. What was he like? When I met him, I actually got a job from him, too. He was very friendly. And the apparently affable supervisor seemed to take an instant liking to Alicia, with the two striking up a casual friendship, though Alicia's best friend is quick to point out that's all it was. Alicia never had a sexual relationship with Brian or a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship? Not that I'm aware of. And you're her best friend? Correct. In fact, Alicia's mom thinks the main reason Alicia really hung around her much older boss was self-preservation. I think she was very afraid of, of losing her job. She had a baby that was coming to support, and this job had offered her, um, you know, time off in the winter with pay, and she never had that before, being only 21. Alicia's loved ones also believe that's why she ended up saying yes when Brian Cooper asked her to accompany him to his sister's out-of-town wedding. She said, I need to keep this job. And besides, they'd just be going as friends. How bad could it be? The August nuptials will take place some four hours away in idyllic Door County, Wisconsin. Door County, Wisconsin is a kind of rural uh, area right along Lake Michigan. It's very popular for people who live in Chicago, just a few hour drive away. We can rent cabins, go fishing, and people host weddings. And Brian booked the Sand Bay Beach Resort for their accommodations. I'd never heard of the place before. I had to look it up. I didn't realize how far away it was. But the way she explained it, she said, it's fine. We're staying at the hotel with, you know, the whole wedding party. So we're all going to be in the same place. But then we're going to come home the next morning. Then it'll be fine. But the morning of the wedding, Sherry receives a strange call from her daughter. She said, um, we're packing up the car to leave. And um, I said, why? What happened? And she said, we got in a fight. I said, how could he do that to his sister? You know, he was walking his sister down the aisle. And I said, make sure that you call the sister at the hotel, you know, and tell her that you're not coming. She goes, I don't know where she's staying. And I said, what do you mean? You guys aren't at the same place? No. I texted her later and I said, is everything okay? And she said, um, yes, we're staying. And then the wedding. 
Brian walks his sister down the aisle at the intimate outdoor ceremony. Then they celebrate the newlyweds at the reception. After the last champagne toast, Brian and Alicia return to the resort. Just a few hours after that, Alicia Bromfield will be dead. And a mystery man in sopping wet clothes will confess to every chilling detail. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Um, I'm calling for somebody else. I'm going to put the person on the phone. Coming up. She is on a flip. What does the killer have to say? You know for sure that a murder occurred? Yes. It was intentional. Did you witness it? Yes. You witnessed it. Okay. Do you know where her body is? In the room. 